Hello, my name is Logan, and today I'm going to show you how to install Pokemon Infinite Fusion onto your Steam Deck. Now, this will work on any sort of Linux operating system, as long as the hardware is good enough. Um, but this process should work on any sort of Linux operating system. Also in the video, I'm going to show you where your save file is located. So if you wanted to transfer this to your mobile device or even to your other PC, or you wanted to send it to a friend, whatever you want to do, that will be part of this video. Also at the end of the video, I will show you how to install custom sprites. Now, when you play the game normally, as long as you are connected to the internet, you will download all the custom sprites that are available. But some people don't have access to the internet 24 seven. So they want those custom sprites already installed onto their machine, which I will show you. Now, going forward, any links that I click will be in the description below. That way, if you don't have Discord, you can still kind of follow along. So that's our first step. We're going on Discord. Uh, we're in the official Pokemon Infinite Fusion Discord, uh, the tech support section. We are going to click the pins, and then here's a guide. We're going to click on that. Here we want Steam Deck and Linux. And then here we can download the game right on this link. There we go. I've downloaded it several times. Uh, so what we're going to do is open it. And then from here, we're going to extract it. So I made a folder. You don't necessarily need to do that. When you extract this zip, it will create a folder called Infinite Fusion. But we're just going to do extract. I'm going to go to my desktop, click on my Linux version. And it extracted. All right, so this is the next step. Uh, in here should be a single file. We're going to be right clicking that and then properties. And then under permissions, we want to make sure this says is executable. So we're check marking that and we're hitting okay. Next step, right clicking it again. And then we're going to do run in console. So a little window should pop up. Now this does download files from the internet. So if there is anything wrong or slow or whatever with your internet connection, this process can be a little different and also can take a while. When it was at 37%, a lot of people get stuck there. And that's just because it is downloading a large file and it appears to be frozen. So when you get this message here, that means everything's good to go. So we're going to close that. Um, and we're good here. We can close this. The next thing we want to do is go to Steam. And here I already have the game added, but what you want to do is click add a game, add a non steam game and then browse. And then here you would want to find it. So we would hit desktop Linux version in infinite fusion game dot exe. So you would hit open. I've already done this. Um, and then on this list here, it'll be check marked already. And then you would want to hit add selected programs. And then this should appear here. We want to right click it and go to properties. And then under compatibility, you're going to want to check mark this here. And then here, this is always changing. So at the time of this video, Proton 8 works and also Proton 7 works. Um, I have no idea if this changes, if we lose different versions of Proton. Uh, but as of right now, these two work in the past. It was really only Proton Experimental that would work. So possibly in the future, that could be the case. But for now, Proton 8 works. And then we're going to close it. And then we're going to hit play. Everything is working. The little window popped up. All right. So everything's working here. Um, I do already have a save. Uh, so for you guys, this won't appear instead. It'll just be the new game options, quit game. So everything's running. So the next part of the video will be locating that save file. So the way I found it is by clicking onto your file manager, going to the root 
and then we're going to be searching and I'm going to type in file A because that's where I saved my file was the A slot. Okay, so that did take quite a while. And also I think it may find more files here since I have multiple versions of the game. But right now we're just looking for the, uh, the current one, which is this one here. And what I do is I right click and right, technically this is the file here, but I'm just trying to show you guys where it's located. Uh, you can click open path uh, here. And then you can see this is the path here. Um, let's see if we can make it a little bigger. Here we go. So we can see the full path and it's pretty complicated. I don't think it's straightforward. So I had to search for it, but this is the only thing you need right here. And you can send this to your friends, copy it over to a separate device and you can continue playing the same file. Now, if you don't save in the a slot it's going to be whatever so file b file c and there is a space um, sometimes transferring this file it will automatically give that kind of like underscore so let's see if i can show you guys sometimes because files normally don't have spaces in them when you send the file over depending on how you do it it may automatically add that underscore. So if that happens, you want to delete it and put that space back in there. So that is where your save file is located. So this part of the video, I am going to go over installing custom sprites into your game. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you play the game normally without doing any of this, as long as you are connected to the internet, you will download the custom sprites, but it's only as you encounter them in the game. The only reason you would want to do this is if you think you're gonna be playing the game with no internet connection. Also another thing, this game currently does not handle the custom sprites as it should. Normally you download, you put the images into the custom battlers folder, and you run the game, the game will import all those images into the right folders. As of right now, this version of the game, it does not work correctly, and I do not know why. So I will show the proper way of how to do this, just in case they do fix the issue down the road. So what we're gonna be doing is going into the Discord. The sprite packs are always going to be here. So at the bottom, there is the monthly and the full sprite pack. If you're going to be playing this without any sort of internet connection, you're going to want to download the full sprite pack, but there is thousands upon thousands of images in that. So for the sake of this tutorial, I am only going to be showing the monthly just because it's a lot easier on the steam deck when I'm showing off this tutorial. So you would click this and download it. All right. So once it's done downloading, you're going to want to go into your downloads folder and here is the sprite pack. I'm going to double click it. And what I'm going to do is kind of keep this off to the side. I have my game here. So opening this up and going into the graphics section, we want to go to the custom battlers and this is the normal process. This is how it used to work. So what I'm doing is I'm opening up the custom battlers folder that's in this sprite pack that I downloaded. I haven't extracted anything yet. So what I'm doing is selecting the very first file in this folder, and I'm just going to scroll down. And then I'm going to be holding shift and then left clicking. And that is going to select everything, uh, all the images that I want. And you can see there's 6,000 here. So what we're going to do now is click and hold and drag it into this folder. And again, this is the custom battlers folder just inside of it. Great. 
So now that looks good. What I'm going to I'm going to show you what normally you would do if the game was working correctly. So we're going to open up Steam and we're just going to play the game. Okay, so you can see here it just says 13 sprites were imported into the game. You can you saw that there was over 5000 images. This is what I'm talking about where the game isn't doing this correctly. And it's been like this for a couple patches now, but I believe I have found a fix. So we're going to close this and it's kind of a pain in the butt and it is a very long process. But like I said, if you want this working without any sort of internet connection, um, this is the only way you can do it. So what we're going to do is go back to the discord server. See if I can get to it. And there is this fix that is meant for something else, but I think it actually fixes the issue. So we're in the tech support section. And again, I said this earlier in the video, but any sort of links and things like that, I will provide in the description below. We're going to the pin section. And it's the very first pinned item. We're going to be clicking on this and downloading the file in there. It's called sprites.zip. Once that's downloaded. We've got it right here. Now this is a big file. There's tons and tons of images in here. So I'm going to show you guys how to extract this correctly. So what we want to do is extract this and it really doesn't matter where you put it because we have to do a different process. This file is so huge that the extractor app here sort of freaks out when it's doing normal things. Um, so we have to do a little workaround. Now, if someone knows how to do this in one go, please comment down below. I don't know enough about Linux to know if there's another app we could use that could handle this a little better. Um, but this is how I do it. What we're going to do is just hit Linux version, the folder, and then I'm just going to hit extract. And you can see down here, the progress it's making. And like I said, it does take a long time. Now, what this is going to do is create a sort of subfolder here. And we're going to move the contents of that folder back into the infinite fusion folder. And that part takes a very, very long time. And like I said, if someone knows how to do this without this extra step and just extracting it correctly the first time, please let me know. Um, it's sort of, this part is something I cannot figure out. So what we're going to do once this is done, um, I'm going to close this here and we're going to open up the sprites folder. So, Technically, all you got to do is drag this and drop it. And that's what we're going to do. But I'm going to just right click and I'm going to hit cut. Um, and we're going to go back into our folder here. So infinite fusion. Um, this is the game folder. And remember, we cut the graphics folder. So if we right click in the empty space here and then do paste one folder. It's going to start asking us basically, are you sure you want to merge everything? Um, this will change the name of the folders and files if we don't, uh, watch out for that. So what we want to do here is hit right into, and then here we want to hit apply to all and then do right into, and again, apply to all overwrite. And now we should be smooth sailing. So again, you can see that there was over 200,000 images in that zip folder, zip file. Um, so this part, if you watch any of my other tutorials, this is where you go play your favorite gotcha game, go get that banner character, uh, go touch grass, maybe walk the dog. You know, tell your family that you love them. Something. You don't want to be on your Steam Deck while this is happening. Um, it could cause issues. So leave your Steam Deck aside or whatever device you're doing this on. 
and just go do something else. I'll be right back. All right, so it finished. It actually didn't take too long. I may have been exaggerating, just a little longer than I'd like. But I want to show you guys something. Going into the graphics folder and then going back to the custom battlers folder, you can still see all of our images that we tried to import is still in here. Uh, but now in the index folder where all those sprites should have went, you can see that there's stuff in here. Now that is from the sprite.zip file we downloaded. And I have a feeling that's what is going to fix this um, or that's what fixes this. So I'm going to close this here. We're going to play our game. Now this did work earlier. I always test this stuff before I show you guys and it should work. So I'm hopeful, but who knows? Technology sometimes has a mind of its own. Okay. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, pray to Arceus. Sweet. Okay. This part's fine. So it's saying that there was some sprites that have, that already exists, which is fine. So we're going to do replace all, but here's the, here's the thing we hope works. There we go. So you can see now it says 5,000 custom sprites were imported. And I think that's how you fix it. Um, we're going to close our game here though. Go back into our folder because now we can verify infinite fusion, um, graphics, custom battlers, and you can see that it did import everything. Now, why didn't it import these things here? Well, two of them are moving gifs, gifs, gifs. I don't know why I said gif for those people who do shame on you. Uh, but this doesn't work. The game can't handle gifs. Uh, and this looks like a file that is corrupted. No, it's not. I don't know why it's, there must be some sort of, there must be something wrong with the naming scheme that is kind of hidden here. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. It did import everything. Uh, sometimes you'll find that the custom sprite packs have images that used to work with a lot older versions of the game, like years ago, it used to be able to handle animated images. Uh, now the game does not. So this is trash. Um, but you can see that we fixed it and it's kind of a pain in the butt. And for the last time, you only want to do this if you think you're going to be playing the game when you don't have an internet connection and you want the custom sprites. Um, otherwise there's not any other point to do this, but, um, some people prefer it. Some people don't like constantly being connected to the internet because you can go into the game options and turn that off. Um, so some people like having that sort of choice. So if you have any questions, please be as detailed as possible. Um, if there's some sort of error that pops up, if something happens, tell me what you did to cause the problem and the error name. Now, if I don't help, um, or we can't figure it out, uh, make sure you go to the Pokemon Infinite Infusion Discord, go to that tech support section and ask your question there. The more information you have, the easier it is to help you. All the links that I have been showing will be in the description below. And if you feel like it, please comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the tutorial, if it worked, if it didn't work. Um, I really appreciate any sort of feedback. Uh, also I do go over Pokemon infinite fusion quite a bit on this channel. If you're interested in that, please consider subscribing. That is a huge help for this channel and it just keeps motivating us to keep making more content or there's even the like button that helps us quite a bit as well and gets this video out to more people. So please consider smashing that like button. And as always, I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye.